that you're coming over. Well, I, I know that you're really upset about your shirt. Yeah, you know, I'm really sorry for laying into Jonathan like that. I, I shouldn't have been so quick to accuse him of taking it. It's okay. He understood. It's just... I know, it's just a shirt, but it was actually really important to me. It's the same shirt that you had on when you gave birth. I can't imagine how important it is to you. Yeah. And I also really wanted to help Ethan out. I mean, that shirt may be his only chance to prove that he's Miranda's cousin. But only if it had her DNA on it. Which we'll never know. It's gone. And not by accident, either. Well, you don't know that for sure. Maggie, somebody has been in my house. They went through my stuff. Maybe you lost the shirt. I... Please, I've lost my keys at least twice this week. Look at this. There are scratches on the lock. It's been picked. Wait, who are you calling? I'm gonna call the police. Wait, no, no. You can't call the police. Maggie, that's what somebody does when they've been robbed, when their stuff has been rifled through by a total stranger. I mean, somebody broke into my home. If I can't be safe in my own house, then I might as well just hang it up. What about Greenlee? Greenlee probably still has a key. I mean, she could have borrowed your shirt. Uh, Maggie, I, I really don't think that my ratty old maternity top is Greenlee's idea of hot couture. Oh, okay, so what will the cops think of that? I lost my nasty old shirt. They're gonna think that you're crazy. Oh, I get it. So as long as somebody only steals a little bit, they can break in wherever they want and never get punished. No, I, I'm just saying that it Maggie, doesn't... it wasn't a petty thief. Nobody touched my jewelry. The only thing that went missing was my shirt. Whoever took it knew that it was Ethan's only tie to the Cambia's fortune, and they didn't want him to make that connection. Ethan is the most obvious choice. With that shirt missing, the rest of us cannot prove that he is a big, fat fake. I'm so sick of this. I really am. How many people have to get hurt or shot like Ryan? My God, Maggie, what if I had come home when whoever it was was, was in my place? I mean, who knows what they would have done Ooh, to nothing. me? Nothing. He would have never have hurt you. Please, don't call the police. was Jonathan, and you're covering for him. How could you cover for Jonathan? He stole something from me that was so incredibly valuable to me, and he knew exactly what he was doing. Okay. Just please try to understand. He only did it to protect his brother. Oh, that is such bull. He's convinced Ethan shot him. Well, he's wrong. Bianca, I was with Jonathan in the hospital. He was horrified of losing his brother. I know how he felt. It was awful. How does that justify him stealing from me? He can't let the guy who put his brother in the hospital get away with taking away everything that his brother has. Oh, I see. So that means he takes away something from me instead. He honestly believed that he didn't have a choice. Can you just please try to understand that? You know what? I can almost understand what Jonathan did. What I don't understand is you. How could you lie to me? That's the hardest thing I ever did. But you did it. Why? Because I didn't want you to hate him. He means that much to you. That you would lie to me after everything that we've been through together. Well, Jonathan and I are... We're falling in love. I want my shirt back. You can't have it back. I'm sorry, it's gone. Well, it's not gone. It's somewhere. It's been burned. I want to be alone. Bianca. Maggie, goodbye.
sorry. Can you ever forgive me? I told you, Giselle, not now. Ah, uh, come on, Ijinsky. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know it was you. What are you doing? Well, well, wait a minute. What? Who is this Giselle? Some prima ballerina? Oh. I'd be jealous. Mm, yeah, I think you should. Especially if you have a thing for uh, late model industrial vacuum cleaners, because <laughs> she's got a cherry red one. Oh. Yeah. Well, cleaning, that I cannot compete with. Well, don't worry, because I'll pay her to make the Bebichilla one when it gets to mess it up. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> a holiday packaging can't be great. It can't just mm -hmm. be great. It's, it's, this is the enchantment signature fragrance. It has, to be, it has to be sensual. It has to be sophisticated. It, it has to be playful. It's got... Complete with cute ornament. Yeah. And which one would you pick? Um, I th this one. That one? Yeah. That was my favorite, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Good. Yeah. Work's done. No. Playtime. No, I have to take care of everything here. Hello? Do you know what time it is? You're the only one here slaving away, Mr. Overachiever. <laughs> I... I have to prove myself here. I've got this... <laughs> the owner's your brother. <laughs> I padded my resume to get here. I lied to Ryan. I flunked out of college, Maggie. Does Ryan know? He does now. Well, you're still here. Doesn't that prove something? Yeah. Yeah, that I have one magnificent brother. Yeah, and you were great, too. Come on, cut yourself a break. Ryan obviously did. It's not the only dumb move I've made since I've been here. Bianca's shirt, the one that she was wearing when she had Miranda, I did not want her to blame you for that. I did not want that to happen. I burned the shirt. Yeah, I was... I covered for you. Your heart's too big for your own good. I tried to tell her that not to blame you. I tried to explain it wasn't your fault, but she... I know, you know what? Thank you, but it, it really doesn't matter anymore. M meaning what? What happened? Are you, are you and Bianca really over? You know, I can only do what I think is right. Bianca and I were never a big thing. I mean, not even a small thing. But are you over? Would you please stop it? We were never more than friends. And now our friendship is kind of tanked. I'm sorry. I... I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, hey, it's good for you. Look, I've been, you know, struggling with this chem assignment, and <laughs> I kind of hit the wall. Yeah, well, I don't think I'm going to be much help for you there. Well, I guess I'm just looking for distraction. And, well, back in the old days, Bianca and I, you know, we would catch a snack during a break or something. You want to snack? Well, don't you? Come on, take off work. Let's go. I will. I will go with you, but not for a snack. If I go with you for just a snack, it makes me feel so cheap. And... All evening? All evening. Jonathan, chemistry, chemistry, Jonathan. I know, I know. But here's a concept. How about this? Chemistry and Jonathan. Sorry, did we interrupt something? No. I gotta go. Hey. Hi. Okay. Jamie's going off half cocked. Stop him before it's too late. Um, Jonathan, can we have a minute? Sure. Yeah. Um, is it okay if I use your room? I'm gonna yeah. make some. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. What? Cousin Davey send you on the case? What did you do to him? Oh, nothing. He's just going on and on about Babe and I leaving town. Oh, well, I would too if I thought it was. It's true, isn't it? You know what? Go ahead. Read me out, too. Babe and I are leaving. Why? Why suddenly now? Jamie, 
One day, baby's all over you, and the next, she's madly in love with JR, and then you again. You can't throw away your family and your education your entire life because babe wants a ride somewhere. You know what? It's more than a ride. She's going to make a huge show of leaving with you as a flip-off to JR. Maggie, you're wrong. Prove it. You prove it to me. You guys want to shack up? Move in here. Take my place. I'll find somewhere else to live. Just don't leave Pine Valley. Please don't leave Pine Valley. Leaving town was my idea, not hers. Want to do me a favor? Anything. Remember that babe never meant to hurt anyone. Jamie, what's going on? It's just... Things got out of hand. And the best course of action is to move away. Well, I don't accept that. Sorry. You don't have a choice. I'm gonna miss you. Oh, come on, please, don't go. Don't go. Well, this is fun. Huh? Did I complain? It was a real downer. Bye bye, Bianca. Bye, Jamie. You're such a great guy. You've still got me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for not walking out of that door. No chance. No, no, wait, no, don't. Um, it could be Jamie's mom or dad. And Please, the night really can't get much worse, can it? Hi. What's... what's going on? Well, you know about Jamie and, and Babe leaving town? Yeah. He just left. So, are you doing okay? No, no, not, not so good. I, I know how close you are with Jamie. Not the same as you and Babe. Well, it's gonna be hard. But they really are doing the right thing by leaving. Good for you, Bianca. Excuse me? You're so together. I mean, nobody would believe that you just lost your best friend. Well, I'm not. Never mind. Ice cream. Ice, ice cream with chocolate sauce. No, no really. You, you ladies need comfort food. I'm, I'm going to run to the Quickie Mart. Okay. Bye. I have such a great boyfriend, right? So, um, the gory details? Jamie's crazy for babe, and she just wiggles her tush, and he follows along. Uh, it's a little deeper than that, actually. You know, not thinking about it, he didn't say anything about Bess. Is is Babe deserting her little child? No, they're gonna take Bess with them. Right. And what, what planet is JR letting that happen? Well, they didn't exactly ask permission. Bianca, they're, they're kidnapping Bess? Well, it, it's more like a rescue mission. They have to save her before the Chandlers crush her soul. Okay, well, then I am happy for, for Bess, but I'm, I'm sad for you. I mean, losing that little girl, did you get a chance to say goodbye? No. But it's okay, because it's not forever. Babe has made me a promise that... that I'm gonna be there for Bess's first day of school and for every amazing step that that little girl takes on her way to growing up. Somehow, Babe is gonna fix it so that... so that I can see it happen. 
How can Babe make such an outrageous promise? It'll happen. Somehow my heart knows that it's gonna come to be. No more goodbyes, Maggie. Deal? Deal. So, I, uh, have Orsini's finest bubbly on the house, too. Well, what yeah. happened to the ice cream? Well, I figured that bubbles are better for chasing the blues away. And, uh, we have something very exciting to celebrate. Okay, well, make like the Toastmaster already. Okay. So, glasses raised, everyone. Come on. This is to the fake Cambius doing some very real time in jail. Wait a minute, Ethan was arrested again? Yeah, the cops got the right weapon, the one he used to ventilate Ryan. And this time the charges are going to stick, and the Brits finally going to do some hard time. So let's. Ethan is innocent until proven guilty. You know, I don't get you, Bianca, because, okay, Ethan's a stranger, and Ryan's your friend, so. It's late. I, I have to get going. Um, okay, well, thank you for coming by. Sorry, Mags. Bianca, what? It's a hot, cold, on, off. God, you deserve so much better than that. What did you mean before about Bianca? You know, because she's been nothing but good to me. I meant what I said. She's hot and cold, especially when I'm around. Well, you can't blame her, can you? She was shooting me bad vibes long before the, the shirt incident. You know, and if you ask me, I think she's jerking you around to punish you for being with me. Jonathan, Bianca's been my best friend. And, well, I lied to her to cover for you. Are you sorry now? What do you think? I don't know, Maggie, are you? Because... Bianca's back in your life for five minutes and you're pulling away from me? Bianca is not a threat to us, Jonathan. Are you blind or are you just stupid? I... No, I... Maggie. No, uh, goodbye. I'm... Maggie, no, I'm so sorry. No. Listen, no. Get out of I'm telling all this stress with Listen, the enchantment thing. I am not Bianca Zormat and I'm not you yours You see either. how it always comes back to Bianca? You have the nerve to pin this on her? I walked in here when she was wrapping her arms around you. I want you to tell me, is that where you really want to be? I'm jealous. Okay. I'm jealous, I admit it. You really scared me. I scared myself. Is that what love does to you? Because I do love you, Maggie, and I know how much Bianca means to you, so, so if I have to make myself scarce when you two are together, I'll... Oh, wait, wait a minute. Back up. You love me? Like a crazy man. As if I didn't just prove that. I'm freaking out. I just... Jonathan. Look, I, um... I just won't hang out with Bianca as much if it's a problem for you. Maggie, you do not have to do that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, because I'm not about to let love walk out of that door. Ready. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. Hi, Hi. You look so 
handsome. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, maybe you'd uh, Great. like to tear all my clothes off me and have your way with me. Again. Okay, how about after Ethan's arraignment, yeah? And then I'll ravage you. It's a date. Just you and me. That's still the way you want it, right? You mean Bianca? I told you I'm fine with seeing less of her. But but I think I do owe her an explanation. You know, tell her what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling. I should have known. Hey, last night, this morning, they were unbelievable. They were. But you're really not ready to give up Bianca. No, no, come on, don't leave like this. Look, it's my fault. It's my fault. I wanted to believe that you were ready. I think you wanted to believe that you were ready, but you're not, you know, and it's, it's okay. No, no, it's not okay. We'll take some cool down time. We'll see how things shake down. Why are you doing this? I, I don't want to cool down anything. Maggie, if you need space, I want you to have it. No, I don't want any space. All I want to do is be with you. I mean, if Ryan didn't need you so badly, I wouldn't even let you walk out of that door. No, this, this isn't a challenge. This isn't a contest. You don't think we I know that? I love spending time with you. I mean, I was even hoping that you would want... I'd want to what? You stay and... live with me. Are you asking, are you asking me to move in? Are you? You have no clue how happy you make me. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You're not moving out, too, are you? No. No, just uh, packing away summer stuff, making space. Come on. Well, didn't Jamie leaving do that? Yes, but I'm... Not ready to put his stuff away yet. Right. It's kind of weird that he's gone, huh? Feels a little lonely, doesn't it? Maggie, have you heard from them? No. You? No. Um, I gotta ask you something. Okay, shoot. Do you think that you could you know, call before you just drop by and give us a warning. Us? Jonathan and me. He's moving in. You know, sometimes it's good to hold off on, on moving in. Why? I mean, why not take all the love and happy you can get? He's in love with me. And I'm in love with him. So why should we wait? I mean, what's the point in waiting? Honey, I'm home. <sighs> so how did the uh, arraignment go? Great. Yeah? So good, yeah. Good. I'm, uh, mm, hi, nice. hi. Mm, hi. Mm. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm actually gonna go over to no, Ryan's. No, and... no, no! Come on. No, I want to give you girls some privacy. Jonathan, but... no. This is your home too now. No one can ask you to leave. No one wants you to, right? I haven't known Babe for very long. It's true, but what we went through in that cabin together. Oh. No matter what happens to us in our lives, we're always going to be connected in a very powerful way. No one will ever know what the two of you went through together. Looks like I'm not the only one having trouble sleeping. Uh, yeah. Have you heard from Babe? No. No, I, I wish. I finally understand why she had to leave town the way she did, why she had to leave Bess behind. You do? If I'm right, she can never come back here again. 
please, please don't hate Babe. I don't hate Babe. I, th I couldn't hate Babe. Listen, Paul Kramer was giving her so much grief, and as far as I, I know, he never stopped. I, I know a little something about self-defense. If he threatened that he was going to hurt her again, she didn't have any choice but to hurt him back. You think Babe murdered Paul Kramer? A police detective came by from Landview asking all kinds of questions about the helicopter crash and Paul Kramer. And after he left, it all just kind of fell into place. That would explain why Babe and Jamie had to leave in such a hurry and leave Bess behind. The timing fits. This must be the explanation. You're still protecting her. You're still looking out for my baby doll. Of course. Crystal, if you do talk to Babe, I want you to tell her that I am so sorry and and I understand. And that I am here for her, whatever she needs. I swear you are. You're the best thing that ever happened to Babe. You really are. Except for her baby. Yeah. Except for her baby. And I promise you, no matter what the reason those kids blew out of town, everything is going to work out. For everybody. all-nighter because there's just no way you'd be up this early <laughs> it's all Jonathan's fault the loyal and fusion employee that he is he had to get up early for work he's all over this holiday enchantment gift set well he'll be done soon that's that's coming out on the 29th if you're having a private moment you know no I can go. stay stay actually I was thinking about us you were what were you thinking about I was thinking about that time you made me jump into the freezing cold water. <laughs> I had to do it, you were chicken. <laughs> I have to be honest with you. I know that you and Jonathan have had your problems. Ethan and the shirt and... I, I know that Jonathan hasn't been very nice to you. Maggie. Whatever problems I've had with Jonathan, they have nothing to do with you. That's not true. I had something to do with it. Why do you say that? Because I told him that I was in love with you. Believe me, I was very clear with Jonathan. He knows that my feelings were one-sided. And... But he still wasn't thrilled that... that you felt that way about me. It wasn't... You being another woman, actually, he was really great about that. I think it's more about him wanting to come first with me. And of course he does. I never would have asked him to move into my apartment if I didn't feel like he did. And what about you? Do you think that you come first for him? Yes. I mean, that's what I love most about him. <laughs> Maggie. <sighs> you to be happy. I know. I want you to be happy, too. Well, I'm working on it. Well, then why are you still here? Where else would I be? Poland. With Lena. Yeah. I know. She asked me the same question the other day. We had a, a long-distance fight over the phone. <laughs> well, it made sense before. You didn't go see her because you wanted to stay here for Bess and Babe. But what is your excuse this time? Bess and Babe? I don't know. I can't explain it. It's just a feeling like, like the one that I had before, that Babe and Bess need me here. 
Bianca, babe is gone. I know that. Look, I said I can't explain it, but I feel like I'm on the verge of something. And I don't know. I just wish I could talk to babe, then everything would make sense. Our first guest made television history when she shared the first lesbian kiss on daytime. Well, now she's finding love where she least expected it. Take a look. Maggie, it's, it's not a timed event. There's no rush to figure it out. Well, I'm going to combust if I don't. I am attracted to guys. I am, but, but I'm also very attracted to you. I know that I love you. It's really good to say that. We're good. Keep saying it. Because I love you too. Please welcome back from All My Children, the Emmy nominated Eden Regal. <laughs> So three Emmy nominations. That's right. Congratulations. Yes. yes. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you. Huge honor. And this last, this last one was especially meaningful to me because it's been, it's been quite a year. Uh, You've had some intense storylines, no question. Yeah. yeah. Every time I turn the TV on, you are crying. <laughs> yeah. It's true, is it not? I know. Yep. I'm crying. It's, it's, it's intense. good though. It's therapeutic. You're either crying or making out with another woman. <laughs> Occasionally as well. My fair share. Bianca has, you know, had like quite a amazing quite a rape, life lately. Rape, pregnancy. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's kind of <laughs> yeah. a lot of other things too. Yeah, there's a lot on her plate. But she's Erica Kane's daughter, so we expect. So of course, there's going to be a bunch on her plate. Exactly. <laughs> now, what's going? Because I got to tell you, I love Bianca and Maggie together. I, don't get me wrong. Bianca and the Lena kiss was kind of cool for the kiss factor. Well, Lena, but yeah. Bianca and Maggie are hot together. <laughs> Let me tell you. Well, thank you. I am We're trying to right get now. those male viewers. Yeah. Don't worry, you got me. one here. You got me drooling <laughs> on the screen. Are you guys going to make well, out, she's too? She's such a cutie pie, and I love Liz. I love working with her. And I think that Bianca and Maggie have always had this really special relationship, a, 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 a true friendship. And it's it's complete, it's total love for one yeah. another. Um, and uh, it just seems like this is a natural You have great chemistry together. Yeah. And There's is no it, question. Is it hard for you to play that kind of storyline? I don't think it's any harder for anybody, uh, it, for anybody else playing just a, a heterosexual love affair, because you're always asked to fall in love with somebody that you don't really love right. or sometimes don't even really like them that much right. so I'm actually fortunate to have worked with two extraordinary ladies who mm. I'm so close with and so it's very easy for me to look at them and sort of feel like I'm falling in love with them isn't that nice because yeah. you yeah. look it looks effortless I mean you do an amazing job thank you you really do thank is there <laughs> of course I'm the guy so I'm gonna I go know, to this way so but sick. of You're course so hey, I'm a guy it's not my fault it's oh, my gender geez. blame it on nature now is there a different <laughs> Do you kiss a womanly dif a woman differently than you would kiss? Some the lips are much softer. It's much more tender. I there have soft isn't lips. That <laughs> well, I, you know, My wife tells me all the time. It's probably lies to I me. I haven't sure. sampled the merchandise yet. Ah. <laughs> Interesting. You should say that. Do you want me to ask her now? Before yeah. we came out here, Lisa wanted to know if you would try one on her. I did not oh, yes. say that. I did not. That's right. Gorgeous lips in television. <laughs> have you ever kissed a girl? Bar none. I have kissed a girl in an acting class. I did a lesbian scene. I did. Yeah. Is it? Is it? I is did. it? Does it make you uncomfortable, or is it? Is it? Well, again, it was a, a friend of mine, so it was a personal so relationship. So that chemistry. Okay. If you have that trust, you can go there. You have to have that trust, and yeah. I, I yeah. mean, you, you just but that's have true to. with a heterosexual or. Yeah, you're right well. about you that, that, I trust. think. Yeah, yeah I, no I think everybody, every actor has has a, a similar experience to, to to the one that I had, except that I I don't know. I was nervous because I didn't want it to look like I was nervous, you know. Right. I but yeah, that's it to part look of like it as well. Something though. I do all the time, but especially in, in in today's day and age, it's such a socially relevant topic yeah. right now. Do you feel a certain responsibility? I I feel a responsibility, and I I I know that there are people who are watching who. 
watching the show who are personally invested mm, in what my character is going through, no either because they're gay, because they know somebody who's coming out of the closet, or because they were a victim of sexual abuse, or they lost a child. You know, I've, I've had these very socially relevant storylines, and so I know that my viewers, the viewers, are, are incredibly invested in it, so that gives me, you know, so much... I'm so excited to go to work every day and tell their story. Has it, has it changed you personally? this storyline, this character? Oh, yes. Um, it absolutely does because it gives me incredible empathy for, mm. for what my character has gone through. When you, when you act it out, you do experience it in a tiny degree. You know, mm. It's sort absolutely. of like a window into what it might feel like. And mm. I have an active imagination. And so I, I feel like there are moments where you know, the, the horror and the beauty of the world opens up to me and I'm just filled with emotion. And, uh, and so, yes, I, I think it's a, it's a deeply human experience and it does give you empathy for what other people go through. I mean, it's a dangerous character because you never know if the audience is going to identify or not. Well, I mean, I was so fortunate that it's been written so beautifully. And um, I don't think anybody who watches it could not, you know, fall in love with, with Bianca. And she's so beloved by everybody on the show. They've watched her grow up. She's Erica Kane's daughter, so a lot of people feel like she's their daughter. Um, and the show has completely committed to making her fully... Uh, a uh, multi-dimensional person. She's not just a one-trick pony. And so, um, at the beginning, of course, I had some reservations that it was just about sort of, you know, getting viewers right. and doing something cutting edge. But that wasn't it at all. They were completely committed to playing out the story, you know, every single step of the way. And it's, a, it's an important story, and um, it's actually a personal story for me because my sister is a lesbian. And so I knew that she'd be watching, and I wanted to do her oh. proud. Yeah. Very Interesting. Nice. And speaking of your sister, you just did American Dreams, which your sister works on. Is that right? She does. She edits for the show. And so it was, it was great. It was a family affair. What did you play on American Dreams? I played a very angry po protester, a uh, uh, Vietnam War protester. So it was very different from Bianca, who tends to not quite speak her mind. You know, this, this girl had a lot of fire. Again, another socially impactful, uh, to today's current times as well, role. Very you seem to always get those so. roles. Yes. Yeah, I wonder why. It's good. You have a message. You're here to teach. I, I, it's good. Here we got to take a quick yes, break. We'll be share. right back with Eden Regal. Coming up next, Eden performs a Disney classic. Okay, we're back with Eden Regal. And you're staying in town. We were just talking that you're staying very close to where... I, I live. I am. I'm staying with my sister, yeah. and my brother's coming over all the time. We're having big dinner parties. I'm cook cooking up a storm. You're so house sitting been... near Lisa? We are. We're, ha we're house sitting right now. That's so very cool. It's really, it's really and fun. And your, your brother is getting married, correct? He is at the end of Jul July. Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> well, that's yeah. all right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this will air so many times, they don't know what <laughs> year you mean. It doesn't matter, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is. But, but now, up, I'm, and I'm you guys are going to the bachelorette thing. and bachelor party. You're doing like a combined in Vegas. In Vegas. Yeah. Woo! But yeah. you actually, you're the one who actually kind of sort of helped them plan the proposal, right? I did. I helped, I helped orchestrate this very romantic proposal. We were all in Costa Rica. We were taking a big family trip there. And uh, Sam took Quien out uh, for a romantic walk uh, on the beach at sunset. And... Oh. Her sister and her sister's husband and I went and, and sort of scurried over and set up a beautiful, like, uh, display for them with champagne and dessert and food and, and wonderful things and flowers right on the beach, and they sort of happened upon it. Oh. And Quinn was completely surprised. It was New Year's Eve, a perfect sunset. Yeah. It, was, it was just, a, a, you know, lovely. Of course, the, the three of us were peeking over the rocks to sort of watch Check the whole out. thing yeah. happen. She so said fun. yes. Aww. And it was all very romantic until the bats came out. And then, oh! And then, <laughs> There's a lot of different did. wildlife that you see there, correct? Monkeys? Oh Lots gosh, of monkeys, incredible. right? Well, we saw everything. We saw three different kinds of monkeys. We were attacked by monkeys. Wait a minute, you were attacked uh, by monkeys? We were attacked by monkeys. What did you do? To get... uh, well, no, they just don't like people very much, really? it turns out. Yeah, yeah. they don't really want you there. Yeah. You know? so funny. We just thought they'd be cute and friendly, and then they start shrieking at us and running towards us and throwing things. Oh, it sounds like your family's really close. Oh, we're so I mean, close. I met your mom in New York. Yes. At yes. a play, actually. Yeah. So it seems like you, you go a lot of places with your family, which I'm is really so nice. so fortunate you, to have such a wonderful time. You started family. off traveling with your grandmother when you were performing, right? Yeah, when you were a little girl? Oh, I was in Les Mis on tour. I started on tour, and we went to 26 cities around the, the country with my brother, and my grandmother uh, went with us. And uh, so I've... I've always been very close with my family. I think it, it, it helps keep me grounded. Very nice. It's such a valuable lesson every day mm. you know, in my life.
Well, Eden, you just mentioned Les Mis, and you know, I know you have a gorgeous voice. We would love it if you would sing something for yeah. us, please. Yeah, brilliant. Well. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here to perform Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid is Eden Regal. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you'd say, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those, what do you call them? Oh, feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down those, what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free, wish I could be part of that world. What would I give if I could live? Waters. What would I pay to spend a day warm on the sand? Betcha on land, they understand. Bet they don't reprimand their daughters. Bright young women, sick of swimming, ready to stand. And ready to know what the people know. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and why does it, what's the word, burn? When's it my turn? Wouldn't I love, love to explore that shore above? Out of the sea. Wish I could be. Thank you. Oh, we'll be right back. Don't go away.